go. That was fucking dope, dude. <laughs> Working with a new burst charge here. It's going to be comprised of 70% flash and 30% mil D. Mil D is comprised of 75% candle, 350% charcoal, 10% sulfur. The flash used is comprised of 70% perk, 30% blue aluminum, 10% Pfeiffer 13H Super German aluminum, 10%. 10890 Eckhart German aluminum and 10% sulfur. Alright. The whistle fuel that's going to be used in this little one pounder here has already been pressed, as you can see. This is the brown iron oxide sally with high purity potassium perchlorate. You only want to use high purity for your potassium perchlorate when dealing with whistle because the anti-cake shit fucking it, it just takes all the power away from the thrust moving on we've got the hellfire whistle mix i just whipped up a batch of this yesterday it's about 200 grams i don't use much of this i don't use it for the thrust i use it for the bulkhead only because the stuff is just way too potent to be pressing around a spindle, even when as small as a Sally spindle, you'll start getting Kato's all over the place. Reserve it for the bulkhead stage of your whistle rockets, and you will thank me later. You can see the brown in there from the Hellfire, and the purple from, or brownish purple, from the brown iron oxide Sally whistle. There are other different whistle mixes out there that are just as good, but Sally, I've, I've always been able to depend on this stuff. Um, you'll never fail with that. And it's a Sally spindle that I'm using, so why not use Sally for your Sally spindle? Uh, so yeah, this is the one pound toolkit that I'm using for Woody's from Woody's, Woody'sRocks.com. If you haven't, check him out. He's got some pretty killer fucking tools. I think this is the first uh, whistle toolkit I'd ever purchased from them. It's very important that you have a P2F gauge so you know how much pressure you're putting down. It's very important that you have a tube support so you don't bust open your tubes because the amount of pressure that you need to make sure that that rocket holds together will bust these net tubes even though they're said to be the most powerful or uh, most sturdy tubes that you can buy see they're parallel wound uh, when this stuff dries this gum tape it, it, it becomes hard and that helps a lot in the uh, in the break so it should be pretty good I like to use three fuses, hot fuses. This is actually pink fast fuse. It's new on the market. The fast fuse I used to use back in the day was the yellow fast fuse. I don't really see that much anywhere. They just, everybody's run out of stock, I guess. So I'm using this now. And the uh, good thing about using three is you'll throw a lot more fire into the burst so you won't have any ignition issues um, when you're not dealing with flash it's good to have extra fuse or a spillet for that reason because you want everything to burn up all at once to get the most impact 